Hello, I'm Maria Falzo, and we are back with our holiday hip list. I am here with Steve Fetty, the Craft Spirits Development Specialist for Allied Beverage Group. He is here gonna and is going to tell us all about the amazing cocktails that you can make with Clyde Mays bourbon. Absolutely. So, welcome. Thank you for having me, Maria. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what you have here. So Clyde Mays is a newer whiskey. It's been on the market for about five years or so. Okay. Uh, they are from Alabama. Uh, you may have only seen this a couple times, but they've been distilling since 1946. Wow. Okay. Uh, Clyde was actually a bootlegger and he was a moonshiner after he came back from World War II. Okay. And to make ends meet, he just started distilling and making his own product. Great. Okay. Love, love that little bit of history there. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the four varieties that you have here. Or do you want to go through the cocktails? Oh, uh, well, we can one? go through the okay. actual spirits sure. themselves. Uh, we're going to start with the Clyde Mays Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Okay. It is a four to five year old bourbon whiskey with a mixture of corn, rye, and malted barley. Okay. They age them in super charred barrels to get more vanilla coming out. Okay. Uh, very classic traditional style bourbon. It's available in most stores for about uh, $35 a bottle. Okay, okay. And then next up, really kind of the heart and soul of the whole Clyde Bay's lines is their Alabama style whiskey. Yes, okay. Now you might be asking me, Maria, <laughs> bourbon, Alabama whiskey, it looks brown, it's in a barrel, and it's American, isn't it bourbon? Well, technically not. Okay. Uh, bourbon has to be at least 51% corn, aged in a brand new charred American oak barrel. Uh, the difference between Clyde Mays Alabama style is that they actually add uh, natural apple essence at the end of the finishing process. Okay. To kind so of I was reading out. about this that mm -hmm. this is like it's not a flavored whiskey. It's a whiskey with flavor. Yes. Okay. Because the uh, 85 proof does come in it. 85 proof, so it is going to have a little bit of heat on it. Typical to most bourbons you're going to try, but it's going to be rounded out with this nice, delightful uh, green apple sensation. Oh wow. Okay. So the cocktail we actually made with that yes. uh, is called the Bama Brunch. Uh, ah. This is a mixture of fresh squeezed orange juice, Alabama Clyde Mays 85 whiskey, and some homemade grenadine. Wow, okay, so that's like more of a cocktail, a little bit more. A little more brunch style, okay, actually. Okay, we yeah, love like, that. You know, for the people who like their mimosas and their screwdrivers in the morning, this is a nice little twist. Uh, very tailgate friendly, yeah. you like to say. So as far as, like, let's talk about the holiday for a second. So mm -hmm. the, you have some other cocktails here, so tell me about what else you have that'll be great for... Christmas Day or Christmas Eve? Tell All right, well, for Christmas Day, actually, this kind of fits in the whole Bama brunch. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Mays Mule. It's actually made using the Clyde Mays Straight Bourbon, okay. uh, a mixture of ginger beer, which is not ginger ale, it's a little bit spicier, okay. some fresh lemon juice, and a little bit of Angostura bitters drizzled on top. Nice. So it's light, it's refreshing, it's got a lot of complexity to it, Okay. and it's easy to make. So. Did you create all these cocktails? Yes, I did. Okay, so you are responsible for creating all of the signature, the, the hot, cool cocktails that we see on menus? Absolutely. I, uh, I test my liver every single time I have to make them. Okay. So if I put it out there, I literally am putting my stamp of approval on it as a palpable tipple. So give us one of your favorite bars in the state or lounges or that you've crafted some cocktails for? One of my favorite bars to actually go to is Verve in Somerville. Okay. And right down the road is actually a place called Tapestry. They are a cocktail bar and they also have a brew pub upstairs. Oh wow, okay cool, so that's good to know. And then tell us about the third one that you have here. Ah, uh, the third one, this is called a Roll Clyde Roll. Uh, for those of you who are Manhattan fans who like a little bit more hardiness oh, okay. in their whiskey, uh, this is made with actually using the Clyde Mays 110 proof Alabama style whiskey. Okay. Now the fun story about this is when Clyde was making his product, mm -hmm. at the end of the year he had all this leftover whiskey and he'd give it to friends, an unlabeled bottle, and he called it seasonal whiskey right there. They didn't know it was 110 proof, it was like firewater. Wow. But it had that nice apple flavor, it was like baked apple pie, a little bit of apple cider going on it. So it says 110 proof, but it is super smooth. Oh, wow. So this okay. is just a Manhattan made with equal parts, Clyde Mays 110 proof special reserve, uh, sweet vermouth, and some orange bitters. Okay, great. Well, I am super excited to try something. What should I try? You know what, why don't we make you a Bama brunch? It okay, is a little cool. bit close in the morning. There you so go. So this is okay. something you can do right at home. Okay. This is a piece of Take cake. Take us through it. So we added our bourbon, I'm sorry, we added our Alabama whiskey. Yeah. And then we're gonna add our fresh orange juice. Okay. Fresh is always best. And then a little bit of homemade grenadine. Now, this is not mm. the grenadine you find in the liquor store that's that high fructose red food coloring that's gonna survive the nuclear holocaust. <laughs> All right, this is actually a simple syrup made with equal parts sugar okay. and palm, wonderful pomegranate juice. Oh, wow. So okay. you can do this at home and keep a bottle in the fridge and yeah. it'll last you for a long time. There you go. So we'll add a little bit of grenadine and then we're just gonna give it a stir. Okay. No shaking required, no fancy strainers or tools. And then we're just gonna garnish it with an orange slice. There you go, wow. Cheers. This looks, thank you. You're welcome. 
That's delicious. I'm glad you like it. Wow, that's totally not what I expected. Oh. And it's not too sweet, which is amazing. And I would totally drink this as a cocktail over I'm brunch. I'm glad you like it. I am so excited that you are here. Thank you so much, Steve, for being here. Oh, I it's really my pleasure. appreciate it. And I hope that we can have you back to check out to do more cocktails and tell us more about the amazing things that you're creating out there. It'd be my pleasure, Maria. Thank you, Thank so you very much. much. It was a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you. To learn more about these recipes, go on to hipnewjersey.com and everything is there. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. For more on this segment, log on to hipnewjersey.com.